Welcome, this is Minute with the Mayor. I'm Arlene Bornstein with our Mayor, Dean Trentalis. Thanks for being here. Yes, how are you today? Good, we've kind of crashed the Visit Lauderdale offices yes, for today. Yes, these beautiful offices. Yes. Very nice of them to land them for us. I thought the color was nice and bright. <laughs> All right, well, let's start off with uh, how flood recovery is going. The last few weeks has been a terrible, terrible episode in our city, and uh, we, have, uh, we have been doing our best to try to help people get themselves back on their feet. Met with uh, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA. We've met with the Small Business Administration. All the local nonprofits who have really pitched in and done a, an amazing job at trying to help our community come back together again. They really have. And if anyone needs assistance still, um, they can go to disasterassistance.gov. Yes, exactly. We still have a, uh, a center at the Hort Park down in the southern part of our city. Uh, the FEMA has set up a, an office there with in-person staff where people can uh, still apply and to try to get themselves uh, some kind of rental reimbursement, uh, perhaps some furniture reimbursement. Uh, if you're rebuilding your walls because the, the water has uh, permeated into the, into the walls, uh, the, all kinds of money is available either through them or the Small Business Administration. But the first line of attack, of course, is to go to your insurance company. Right. If you have insurance, then and then you need to go there first. If you don't have insurance, that's when the federal agencies come in. And that Hort Park location, the staff there is so nice. I've talked to all of them. Yeah. We've done little videos there, and it's really easy to get Yeah, out. it's easy. Just walk in, and uh, people are there to help. Absolutely. Something that we we're getting a lot of media inquiries about and calls in general, this progress of City Hall, where you used to work. Right. <laughs> Yeah, so City Hall took a hit, uh, and uh, we're still assessing the damage and the cost of, of repair and restoring. Uh, and I think that we, it was something we had planned to do anyway. The, uh, we had planned to move to a, a new site, and uh, we had planned to build a new City Hall because of our need to expand our services and to provide services under one roof instead of being spread around the city. This kind of forced our hand. And uh, so we're we're displaced right now. We're here at Visit Lauderdale doing our <laughs> show. Thanks, so, Visit Lauderdale. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, and so I think that we'll continue to be in these temporary quarters until uh, we move forward and build our, our new city hall. Hopefully, some of the federal funding will help us to uh, to we can apply that funding towards the cost of the new city hall. But uh, but we've also been speaking with uh, folks in at the federal government because there are programs that we can get to to borrow very low interest. Uh, uh, rate loans and uh, and grant funding in order to assist us in this project. Wonderful. So moving along, um, Mitch Landrew came right after you went to D.C. to the White House to talk to representatives, and he came and toured Edgewood. Um, and after he did that, he went back to D.C. and he talked about Fort Lauderdale and the tunnel. And you were really proud of that at a White House press briefing, no less. Tell us about that. So when we went to Washington to uh, seek federal funding for the uh, to help our flooded victims, uh, we met with Mitch at the White House and uh, uh, we had these conversations regarding um, FEMA and SBA and so forth, but I also took it as an opportunity to talk about other infrastructure projects that we have going in our city. And one of them ha has to do with the, uh, with the commuter rail service that's coming through the city and how important it was to reconnect communities and it's the, it's the Biden administration's goal to reconnect communities using infrastructure as an opportunity to bring neighborhoods together. At that time, I spoke to him about uh, our desire to build a tunnel through the city, not only to con reconnect neighborhoods, but also to improve transportation. Right. And, uh, and I think they really appreciated that concept. They appreciated our initiative. And he spoke about it at his press briefing a few days later. Wow. And uh, I think we're going to uh, hopefully connect with the federal government. And, uh, and in the next few days, we're having a meeting with the county and the MPO to see how we can bring our resources together to make that happen. Incredible, Mayor. Awesome. So some fun events coming up. We've got yes. the Great American Beach Party yes, and Memorial this weekend, Day. Yes, Tell us about that. All excited about that. So this Saturday, the Memorial Day weekend, we'll have uh, fun and uh, entertainment for everybody, family, friends, visitors, everybody that uh, is in the area. Starts at 1130, goes till 6 o'clock in the evening. We'll also do our Walk of Fame and to recognize various people who uh, will have their star in the sidewalk. And uh, we're not there yet, I guess, Arlene. So <laughs> we haven't made it yet. Let's take a little so, more time. Yeah, a little we're more still working time. on that. <laughs> so, we'll so, get there one day. But uh, we will be recognizing uh, <laughs> people in our history. And uh, it's really a great time. And, uh, uh, and it's free. And it's for everybody. And uh, it's, it's at our beach. Awesome. And obviously a salute to our uh, veterans for Memorial Day and those who have been in the office. Yes, so on Memorial Day, uh, Monday morning at 9 a.m., 
at Lauderdale Memorial uh, Cemetery. We will be having our annual recognition of Memorial Day and, and to recognize those folks who have uh, given the ultimate sacrifice to our, to our country. Also at um, 11 o'clock that same morning at the Sandy Ninager statue, uh, we'll, which is by the uh, Broward Performing Arts Center, we will be having a, uh, a recognition of our fallen uh, dead in conjunction with the local American Legion organizations. Yes, and we certainly appreciate their sacrifices and everything yes. they've done for our Absolutely. country and their families as well, of course. It's a fun-filled weekend, yes. but on top of all that, we have USA Diving that's having yes. their, their a huge event at our new aquatic center, and uh, very excited about that. There will be divers from all over the country coming to uh, test out our new facilities. They're all excited. Yes. We're all excited. We'll have hundreds of uh, folks here this coming weekend for that event, and uh, we're very, very happy to finally return to being the premier venue for yes. swimming and diving competitions. This is the first time in the U.S. that a high diving World Cup has ever happened because of because the dive tower. Because the dive tower, exactly, yeah. yes. It's very cool. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, we're very I'll happy about that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, Mayor. I know you're so busy, but it's really great that we keep everyone informed. It's good to talk with our folks and uh, to let everybody know how exciting it is to live here in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Thanks. Bye, everyone.